welcome back to another segment of Let's Talk. And it's another new week and another new segment. And we always like to bring on new guests and new information. And this morning, we want to welcome Ms. Carol Hill. How are you doing today? Just fine. Thank you, John. Good to have you here. And all along with you is Mr. Doug Sharp. How are you this morning? It's a beautiful day, John. Thank you. Another day, another opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you guys are here to um, talk about what you do for uh, Fellowship Medical and Family Counseling Services. is an organization correct. that mm -hmm. you organize to yes. help people in our in our area. That's correct. So why don't you, Carol, go ahead and start off and tell us what who you are and what your program does, and then Doug can chime in anytime he wants. Well, first of all, I want to thank John May for inviting us here today and Channel 10. Um, just a little bit of our background. Uh, first of all, our hotline is 772-388-0010. We started in August of 2013. Dr. Ronald Manclaw and Dr. Uh, Reverend Dr. Ron Thomas and myself. Um, Dr. Ron Manclaw started HIV AIDS Pastoral Care Network uh, Worldwide Inc. in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we came acquainted and he said, you know, you really need something like that up in Indian River County, helping people, because we are people that care. And there are so many people out there in our world today that need your help. Um, Doc, uh, Reverend Dr. Ron Thomas is our pastor of Friendship Christian Community at 611 Shulman Drive. Um, he is my pastor, uh, so he has started working with us. Um, he has served churches of 120 to over 800 members for the United Methodist Conference in Virginia and Florida. Uh, he's also served in hospitals, uh, prisons as a chaplain. And on our staff, he does the pa personal, family, and um, live counseling services. Uh, then we also have uh, Valerie Newby Collins. She's our RN. Um, and she does evaluations for new people that are coming in to, as clients. Doug and I take the, in call, the incoming calls for senior services, and we're there 24-7, and we uh, just love to help people in our area. I'm going to turn it over to Doug now and let him tell you a little bit more about what each thing is going on. Okay. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, John, for the opportunity to share this with your audience, and Alex as well. Friendship Medical and Family Counseling Services is a nonprofit, community-based organization with programs designed to promote the development of emotionally, physically, and spiritually healthy individuals throughout the Treasure Coast. We are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to help clients from Indian River County and Barefoot Bay Area with medical and family counseling services. For our elder population, which we have a few, we provide caretaker training and support, social outreach programs, medical referrals, residential placement services. For HIV, AIDS, and AIDS patients, medical necessity, we provide health and wellness evaluations, medical referrals, personal counseling, and support. In the area of mental health programs, we coordinate private and group counseling and guided prayer and meditation to meet the spiritual needs of our clients. We seek funding through individual donations, health and wellness grants, direct support from our local business. As Carol mentioned, our number is, you want to write this down, it's 772-388-0010. So in summary, we say if you are in need of help or a relative, a friend, a buddy, whatever, any kind of assistance or specific attention to deal with stress, pain, despair, or lifestyle issues, we provide the, the new service in this area, and we want you to, again, call Carol, who's our main intake coordinator at, again, 772-388-0010. Let me turn this back over to Carol, and she can give you some specific examples of people that we have encountered and people that we have genuinely helped. Carol? Uh, in the past three years, we've helped many people uh, with insurance problems when they go into the hospital and they don't have the right insurance to be accepted. Um, family do not have the support uh, down here where they're up, their family is up north and we work with them. 
uh, people with drug and alcohol problems, uh, people, homeless people. There's a lot of homeless people in this area. We've uh, been working with the Chum Bucket from Sebastian High School and to realize that there is 70 students in Sebastian High School that are actually homeless and we've been working with them very closely through the church. Uh, people with mental problems um, that need help. Families with parents that uh, have Alzheimer's and they're down here and the parents are up north. We've worked with the parents and we've worked with caregivers and, and the clients and helped them through many issues. Um, John May, is. we've been working with him through the health department with people taking, taking it to the street for HIV testing and other events. Um, we're just excited about our ministry and we want to let you all know that we're out there for you. Um, we've been called by God and we really feel that this is our ministry to reach out and serve the community. 772-388-0010. Right. So Carol, um, could you tell us what do you feel is one of the greatest needs in helping you out with your organization reaching out to help the Indian County residents in Barefoot Bay? Well, number one, we have four on our staff, but we can always use more volunteers, more doctors, and uh, people will do counseling. Um, so it's open. We're opening it up. <coughs> excuse me. We're opening it up to the public and to the doctors that feel that calling that they'll be supportive of us and to help us minister to the people and the needs in this community. So Doug, mm -hmm. how does it feel when you reach out to someone that's in need of help and you have the resources to help them? What feeling do you get out of this? It, it, it's exhilarating, John. It, it is unbelievable to be, to, to receive a call from someone who has a genuine need, <clears throat> a genuine hurt in their heart <clears throat> or a problem that they want solved. And they come to us and if we can direct them in, to the right person, to the right organization, whatever, to get them help immediately and have them come back and say thank you. That just, that touches my heart. Carol? We follow up with our clients. If it's a, a drug addiction, um, a lot of times they're sent to mental health clinics and they're giving medication and then they're discharged. But we follow all people up. If We don't let it go at that. We make sure they stay on their medications. We make sure that they're doing the right thing. Because um, that's what we're called to do. And so, um, <coughs> Not a lot of people have heard about this program, and is there a reason why, or do you think people hesitate when they see an organization that's reaching out to help? There are other organizations in the community uh, that are a lot better known than we are, and I, I think people don't know us, and we're, we want you to feel comfortable by calling us. We're not there to... Um, threaten you, we're there to open the door and show you what life is all about and how to get out of some of the situations that you're in if there's a problem there. Especially with your AIDS, your HIV. Uh, we call John May because he's the guy in charge and he will lead you through it. There's nothing that we, we <laughs> oops, sorry. <laughs> we have so much to offer, I believe, and we just need the uh, exposure and the conviction that you know and you can trust us. So if I'm a person that's in need and I seek out your services, is all my information kept confidential? Absolutely, absolutely. I do keep a record of everyone we treat. Uh, there's an intake file that Valerie does or Doug or myself do when we contact them, but it's 100% confidential. Doug, even though it's confidential, what would it cost me to get help from you? Zero. Zero. It costs you absolutely nothing. And then, as Carol mentioned, there is another <clears throat> an organization that is nationwide that everyone has heard of. It's 211 service. If they have a need, they're, they're directed to call 211. We do the same kind of thing that 211 does. The difference is 211 is so busy and so big that I believe they will refer the client to someone and then that's the end of their service. We've heard that, that's the end of their service, which they provided the need. But as Carol mentioned, what we do is we follow up. We call people, contact them. How are you doing? Did it work? Can we help you in another area? And I think we need more of that. It's not just putting out a program, but it's the word follow up. 
Because if I help someone, I want to know that I help them. Cool. Not to get a pat on the back, but to know that someone needed help and I was able to put them in a direction where they got help. And like you, Doug and Carol, I feel good about that. You know, one of the greatest needs that you're, you're uh, assisting right now is the homeless. They don't have hardly nowhere to go. It's very few places, and yet still some are homeless, but they've been able to seek other services. But some of them out there want to seek a service that gives them a home. And then you got to look at the downside of it. Some of them want to get the service and still want to be homeless. But the fact of the matter is we're not being judgmental, but we're reaching out to help because if we went out to be judgmental, a lot of people wouldn't get no help. Because right. even if they looked like something not wrong with them, we wouldn't help them. So <laughs> it's good that you have a heart to reach out. And it's good that people know about this. So right quick, the phone number again, if someone wants to seek out your help after seeing this airing. 772-388-0010. Zero, zero, and with that, we want to thank Friendship Medical and Family Council Services for being here this morning. Ms. Carol Hill and Ms. Dog Sharp, we want to thank you very much for giving this information. And I'm almost sure somebody's going to call you when they see this airing on the TV. Number one more time, 772-388-0010. And with that, we will be back with our next guest. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you.